All right, guys, it's been a couple of weeks now since I got to take the old green machine out and do some kayak fishing. I just got home from work today. It's pretty nice outside. It's about 80 degrees and it's in the afternoon, so it's just gonna start cooling off here very soon. We got a few hours of daylight left. I wanna go fishing. We're gonna go see if we can do some uh, bass fishing today. I forgot and didn't charge any of my batteries since when we did the last trip a few weeks back and I've got to get these things charged. This one I see the green lights on. My Dakota lithium is good. Where's my phone? What's cool about that new port we put in the back is I can actually check the status of it with a, the app. It's at 64%. I'll show you guys. So I think we're good there. I mean, 65% is charging. I figured I'd let them charge up as I rigged up really quick. I want to get on the water pretty soon. I want to do my best five today, and I hate even saying that right now at the beginning of the video. Let me make sure I got my scales in the boat. Yeah, so I got these old cheap Guggen Squad scales, and we're gonna do best five bass today, weight-wise, not length-wise. I'm not gonna measure any today, but I do wanna weigh them, and the only bad thing about saying that is whenever you say that, like Greg Blanchard, you know, he always jinx himself. If, if you say you're gonna catch five fish before you even go fishing, usually you, you don't do very good. You might, I might even skunk out there today, but I'm hoping not. It is really prime time to be catching some largemouth bass here in Northeast Alabama. We're transitioning into fall right now, and it's, it's the time to be out on the water. So I'm gonna finish getting rigged up. All I gotta do really is I, I pull my boat with the XI-3 on the bow. I do unclip my NK-300 from the stern. We're gonna stick it in the truck. I've already got the rods loaded up. The tackle is always on my boat, which is a cool thing about my setup is I, unless I wanna take something specific like a new mystery tackle box or something, I don't have to load up any tackle. It's already on my kayak and ready to go. And I should be able to rig up pretty quick once we get out there and do some fishing. So let's do that. I will see you guys out on the water. Let's go see if we can catch some bass today and weigh our best five. All right, guys, we have made it to the river. We are actually in the kayak. Got the NK300 behind us, just pushing us along. I got it running about 50% throttle. I don't know if I put it in there, but I just had a, <laughs> I had a weird thing happen at the boat ramp. Like I launched the kayak, everything was just fine. Put everything in, you know, rigged up right there at the boat ramp. And then when I got in the kayak, I had accidentally crossed a couple of the steering cables when I was mounting my NK300, so I couldn't turn the motor and I, I hopped in the boat really quick and was gonna hit th full throttle and kind of kick the boat around so I could get out of that little pocket. And I hit full throttle and couldn't steer and I couldn't back off quick enough. And I about plowed into the side of the, the boat dock right there. If anybody was watching, uh, I bet they are dying laughing right now because everything went smooth. And then as soon as I sat down in this kayak, I about plowed through the dock. But, <laughs> but the sun is actually right in my face. It's warmer out here than I thought it was. But that's fine, we got a good run to get to our spot. By the time we get there, we start fishing. Hopefully they should be biting. The water temp is about 79 degrees right now. So it's cooler than it was last time we was here. I think last time it was up in the mid 80s. So the temperature is starting to drop out here. I'm on Lake Neely Henry in Northeast Alabama, the Coosa River chain of lakes. And yeah, we're just gonna run up the river. I'm gonna fish a few spots before I go to my spot. Uh, my little top water spot I always take y'all to. I'm definitely gonna hit it up in a little bit. It's actually that way. I'm gonna make a right right here and we're gonna go on up river a little bit and see if we can flip some docks. The, the bass should be transitioning right now. 
and if they are we should be able to get some bikes today i'm going to try to weigh my best five like i said i hope i didn't jinx it man this wind is blowing this spray look at this spray it's blowing i'm going to slow us down it's going to blow water all into the kayak but yeah we're going to go fit flip some docks maybe throw a shaky head up under a few i don't think top water is going to be good yet but it will be here in a few and we'll uh, we'll pull out the old berkeley chopo again and see if we can get some top water action today but we are going to weigh our best five hopefully we catch five to weigh so anyway let's go fish midday update we've been on the water for about two hours a little over two hours have yet to catch a fish i may have jinxed us even though like it is bluebird sky still kind of middle of the day it's uh close to six o'clock now five five forty so i i don't think the bite is even on yet but we're still going to go over here and look for them uh update on the nk300 i have been running so you know when we left the house I kind of took a chance. I forgot to charge the battery and we left right around 50%, 55%, I think was what I checked it at when I got to the water here. And so we knew we, we didn't have a full battery. I ran probably three or four miles and I was kind of running wide open, uh, just kind of jetting from spot to spot. And I did finally run that battery down. So I'd say I put four miles on it today, wide open, zipping around and I was at 50%. So, it, and then last time I was here, I did the same thing, but I, I ran it a lot longer than that. So, I don't know. I need to do a full day with a full charge for you guys to, to kind of see how long you can go and how far you can go on a full battery in one day, you know, at one time, instead of breaking it up in two different days like I did. I didn't mean to do that. I was, I really thought that I'd put it on charge last time I took it out and I didn't. Uh, the front battery is charged, thank goodness, so we're good there. And I've got my paddle with me, so if they were to all run dead, I would be all right. I didn't bring my foot drive though. I've gotten in a habit of not bringing it because I've got, you know, already so much junk on this boat as it is. But yeah, so we're anyway, we're gonna head, we're gonna fish closer to the boat ramp. Not really closer, but on the same side of the river as the boat ramp, just in case I kind of dissolve all my batteries, you know, fishing until dark trying to get these five fish that I should not have said that we were going to catch in way. <laughs> so anyway, I'm headed back across the river. We're going to be on the same side as the boat ramp at least, and we're going to finish fishing this evening. Hopefully once that sun starts dropping down, the fish might start biting. I've been able to find them. I've graphed over so many fish. I've marked so many new places, kind of, you know, scouting around with that NK300. I was able to find a lot of really cool spots and with bass on them, they just they're not eating right now so maybe once that sun starts to set we can get them to bite but anyway let's go see if we can catch some fish i'm gonna run for probably about five or ten more minutes to get on the other side of the lake here and then we're gonna start casting we're gonna flip some docks throw some crankbaits whatever we can do see if we can get some fish in the boat i probably should never have said five fish we're gonna weigh five fish i take it back i take it back Oh, it's not even a good one. Annie spit it. 
Dag gummit. Little guy hit it on the. Let's see if I can ski him in. <laughs> well, we're not gonna need the net, but hey, skunk is officially out of the boat, guys. And I really could not be happier. <laughs> well, I could. He could be a lot bigger than this, but we'll, we're gonna take him. We're gonna take him. He kept me from getting a skunk. <laughs> All right, we got one. I'm not weighing that fish. <laughs> And he soaked me. What a jerk. Oh. All right, skunk's out. Let's see if we got a buddy sitting over there. All right, y'all. I don't know if you can see me because it is dark. It is seven o'clock at night. And those two fish, one of them we got in the boat, one of them spit it right at the boat. That is all I've had, that's all the luck I've had today. And neither one of those were even big enough to weigh. Even if I would've got the other one in, I don't think it was big enough to weigh. So that is gonna do it for this video. I usually don't post stuff like this, but I don't know. I may upload this, you may never see this video. We'll just see how it goes when I start to edit. I don't know how much I've actually got to edit for this video. I was really hoping to get out here and weigh my best five. I do think I jinxed us when I said we were gonna weigh our best five today. Usually it don't go too well whenever you say something like that before you start fishing. So next time, we're not gonna weigh our best five. <laughs> but anyway, guys, I really appreciate you watching. Even these videos that, you know, are kind of more laid back and, and chill where I'm just out fishing. The, those of you that actually watch these videos, I do appreciate the support. And we'll get back out here. One day this week, I may combine this one with another fishing video where we come out here and do a morning fish and maybe I'll catch enough in that one where we can kind of combine them together and make one video. I don't know. This may be a, a solo video. We'll just see how it goes. But I appreciate you guys watching and I will catch you next Monday at 6 o'clock. Peace.